Welcome to City This Week. I'm Mary Lee. It's good to have you with us. Coming up in this week's top stories, city volunteers from three Central American countries and the United States attend a blessing ceremony in Guatemala. In the United States, city volunteers from Fresno, California hold a blessing ceremony for local residents and volunteers. And we meet a city care recipient in Canada who did not let his disability stop him from living his life to the fullest. We start today's show in Guatemala. City volunteers from the Dominican Republic, Honduras, and El Salvador were recently invited to join City's New Year Blessing Ceremony organized by their Guatemala counterparts. On conclusion of the Blessing Ceremony, Dominican Republic City volunteers also seized the opportunity to hold a local volunteer training seminar that was conducted entirely in Spanish. Volunteers from Honduras, El Salvador, the Dominican Republic and the United States are here in Guatemala to attend City's New Year Blessing Ceremony, celebrating the occasion with local residents. Starting the year off on the right foot, many participants donated their full bamboo coin banks to City. It was a really good experience and above all because together we share the same values. The fundamental values of City Foundation means compassion and relief, and this is exactly our values and precepts in our Catholic congregation. The sign language was very difficult because it was our first time and it was in front of a lot of people. We tried our best to put on a perfect performance to share our feelings with everyone, and we feel blessed being able to do so. In the 15 years that City volunteers have cultivated City's missions in Central America, this is the first time volunteers from four countries have come together to support an event. Making the most of their time here, Dominican Republic City volunteers also seized the opportunity and conducted a training seminar in Spanish for local volunteers. Our goal is to using our Spanish skills to convey what we have learned from our headquarters and share our 15 years of experience in the Dominican Republic with our local volunteers. 30 Honduras volunteers traveled 19 hours by bus, passing through the borders of El Salvador and Guatemala before finally arriving in Guatemala. The one-day local volunteer training seminar in Guatemala City is attended by 88 volunteers from the United States, the Dominican Republic, Honduras, El Salvador and Guatemala. The seminar was conducted entirely in Spanish. Profound lessons were made easy without losing the core spirit of Tzidi. This is a great opportunity to have so many volunteers to come together and receive training in Spanish. We look forward to more opportunities like this in the future to cultivate more volunteers. It's sensational and fabulous because in the past we only stayed in our own countries. Now we know we have brothers and sisters from other countries with whom we can share our experiences with. It's really important for us to participate in this training because it's a way for us to learn from our brothers and sisters and take this knowledge back with us to El Salvador to share it with others. The song we were singing touches my heart every time. Whether it's sung in Spanish, English or in Mandarin, there is always this emotion that makes you feel a part of this family and it's an emotion you want to share with many. On conclusion of a successful seminar, volunteers from the four Central American countries all promise to meet again to celebrate the 15th anniversary of Tiji's establishment in the Dominican Republic. In Northern California of the United States, two blessing ceremonies were held. At the Fremont event, a couple thanked the volunteers for their continued support throughout the husband's dialysis treatment. Meanwhile, at the City Academy for the Chai Valley area, audience members who did not understand Chinese were still able to grasp the spirit of Tsuji. <laughs> United in Praying for Peace at a Blessing Ceremony in Northern California, Jose David Cardona, whose daughter attends the Tsuji Academy Tri-Valley, feels the warmth of Tsuji every time he visits. It's very calm. You can feel welcome every time you come. And the way they receive you in the front door, that's 
something that you, you don't feel it every day. After his first Zuji event today, Franz Benyak becomes more supportive to his wife, who is a teacher at the Zuji Academy. Well, I didn't understand the Chinese, but I saw the video and you know, the world is full of greed and violence and natural catastrophes. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy that Tsuji is going out to the world and helps those people who need it. At the blessing ceremony in Fremont, California, a couple is here to show their appreciation for the support Tsuji volunteers have given their family during the five years of the husband's dialysis treatments. Tsuji has given us a lot of help. There were still many problems after my husband's kidney transplant. Our bonds are deeply connected to this big family. I can't count the number of volunteers that have helped us. Recording down each moment is Chen Huawei, who is visiting his daughter in the United States. The volunteers have done much, and I want to record it and take it back to Nanjing to share with my relatives and co-workers. A few curious Hindus joined the ceremony, and Suji volunteers hurried forward to assist in translations, thus grasping all opportunities to spread the love further. Staying in California, Suji volunteers in Fresno recently held a blessing ceremony for local residents and volunteers. During the ceremony, a previous recipient of Suji's free dental clinic went on stage to express his thanks to the Buddhist NGO. Walking on stage with confidence to share his story, this is Aaron Weaver, who thanks to Suji's free clinic a year ago, was able to cure his dental problem. Guys, this has been a phenomenal uh, experience for me. I am so grateful. Everybody here has been a blessing to the family and the doctor comes that I've come to um, embrace. They have helped me with my teeth. In Central California's Fresno, to help those without health insurance, over the past one year, more than 10 free clinics were held in the area. Inspired by Tsuji's good work, the recent blessing ceremony in Fresno was not only attended by members of the public, but also local volunteers. Volunteering for Sushi is something I give, that I give to myself, and I'm very happy to be able to give myself this gift. I hope to do it for my whole life. Decorating the venue for the blessing ceremony, this is Nicole Hernandez, who says it is an honor to help. I am very happy to have the opportunity to be a part of Tsuji's blessing ceremony every year. I am truly touched by Tsuji's good work. Receiving a blessing and with the red envelope from the volunteers, thanks to the blessing ceremony, participants will go home with happiness and joy in their hearts. In Taiwan's Taoyuan, we meet 90-year-old recycling volunteer Wu Ling A Zhao, who seizes every chance to sort recyclables. But first, we go to China's Hubei province to see how Wuhan city volunteers spread city's environmental message. This eco-blanket is not just a blanket, but one that is embedded with tremendous love. They encourage kindergarten teachers to incorporate environmental messages into their class materials. Wuhan City volunteers in Hubei province held a seminar at the Dafang Kindergarten. This year, we will focus on our class materials on environmentalism. I will encourage our teachers to pass on eco-friendly concepts to their students. As a teacher, we need to inspire our students and encourage them to be eco-friendly. Other than working with teachers, volunteers hope parents can also join their ranks in safeguarding the planet. Teachers have many opportunities to interact with students' parents, for example, through parent-teacher meetings. Teachers can use 5 to 10 minutes during a meeting to pass on environmental messages to parents. To promote environmentalism, volunteers also visit a local community. Through a question and answer session, members of the community gain a better understanding of how to sort their garbage as they learn of the importance of safeguarding our Mother Earth.
riding her electric senior scooter to the local Zhejie recycling station. This is recycling volunteer Wu Ling A Zhao, who lives in Taoyuan, Taiwan. I once fell into a ditch along with my electric scooter. I was here and my scooter was over there. Knowing that the senior suffered a stroke in the past, Zhejie volunteer Xu Enlang, who lives nearby, decided to drive Wu to the recycling station on a regular basis. Sometimes when I can't pick her up, I will make sure if her son is at home or not. If her son is at home, he will drive her to the recycling station. I will always pick her up if I am heading to the station myself. <laughs> Next, we joined Sichi volunteers worldwide as they promoted positive behavior through the teachings of Jinsi aphorisms in schools in Tijuana of Mexico and in Xinzhu of Taiwan. In a Jinsi aphorism competition in Xinzhu, fourth grader Wang Yilu incorporates a historical story with Sichi's words of wisdom to pass on the importance of fulfilling filial duties. Mom and Dad get really tired after work, so we can give them a foot bath and serve them tea. These are but a few of the many filial acts we can do for our parents. To these students, their happiest time is probably not when they are on the stage, but when they are listening to the stories of other students. To me, this is more like a class than a competition with different students sharing their stories. To promote Dingsi aphorisms, volunteers held storytelling, Chinese calligraphy and drawing competitions at the Xinzhu Jingzi Hall, inviting children of all ages to participate. We should try and think on the positive side of things and remain optimistic. The outcome may be better than you originally thought. I'm grateful for such an event because it gives our children the opportunity to express their love and compassion through drawing. It is a great learning opportunity. Through presenting Jinsi aphorisms in different ways, the youngsters are able to practice these ideals in their daily lives and ultimately influence their families as well. Through their drawings, they gained a lot. My son said to me we should love our planet and tells me what I should do in our daily lives so we don't do more damage to our Mother Earth. Regardless of the outcome of the competition, parents are proud of their children for gaining wisdom through the event and demonstrating compassion and sensibility. That man is so dirty. It's the reason why he's so poor. Esa persona está muy sucia. Here at the Tijuana Tiji School in Mexico, U.S. teachings are putting on a short speech to pass on the message behind Jinsu aphorisms to students. Most importantly, we hope to spread the idea of speaking good words, doing good deeds, and thinking good thoughts. Through such interactive activities, the children write down ways to do good deeds and words of blessings to say to others. When we gave them pencils to use, after they finished, they returned them right away. They made sure to return all the items. For over a decade, Tiji volunteers have brought their humanitarian message to this school situated on the border between Mexico and the United States and have seen positive changes in that time. Todo lo demás fluye. Everything else is just fluid. Y podemos entendernos. And we can understand each other. Con una mirada. With a glance. Una sonrisa. With a smile. Estás bien. Tú estás bien. Tiji volunteers once again prove that great love transcends all boundaries. In our next story, we go to Canada to meet Mai Xiang, who was paralyzed after an advertising billboard fell on his neck. Although once feeling helpless, with the support of his family and city volunteers, Mai has regained the courage to move on with his life.
给了我温暖的拥抱，让我摆渡过生命低潮。我跟我家人都没有想过。My family and I never thought that an accident like this would happen to me. After the accident, I was left paralyzed. I never imagined that I would have the courage to overcome such a disability. In 2009, Mai Xiang was hit by a fallen shop sign and was left paralyzed. When the accident occurred, he was only 21 years old. I remember I was walking across the street and then I lost consciousness. When I woke up, I was in the hospital. For more than seven months, my son couldn't speak or move his hands and feet. We were in despair. So we were very sad. I thought everything was over. I thought everything was over for me. I kept crying and wanted to end my life. I felt depressed and miserable. The accident shattered my dreams and took away his hope. 出去吃饭的时候，我好怕。When my family and I went out for dinner, I was always afraid that people would recognize me. However, I tried a change of mindset. I said to myself that I can pretend that I am a celebrity when people turn their head to look at me. People tend to turn their heads to look at celebrities, so in a way, I'm a celebrity too. Thankfully, with his family's love and care, Mai Xiang has regained the courage to move on with his life. I was helped by Ziji, and during that time, I attended many Ziji events. I admire the way Ziji volunteers carried out their mission. I hope I can join their ranks. To pay the love forward might not only canvass for donations for high-end survivors, but also introduce senior residents at a nursing home. Okay. In a way, my disability brings me blessings. It gives me the opportunity to help those in greater need. In Malaysia, the Tsiji Malacca chapter held a volunteer training seminar in which nearly 100 participants arrived to take part. And the Tsiji Malaysia chapter in Penang organized a training camp where educators share their experiences and insights. Teachers from various Tsiji kindergartens in Malaysia are coming together to share their experiences, and those new to the field are finding such events particularly helpful. Through this event, I have learned many new teaching methods, and after sharing some with another teacher, she gave me a lot of new ideas. I wonder why I had never thought of these ideas before, such as using interactive games to spice up my class. Chen Jieying, a new teacher, says she is grateful for the support of the senior teachers. I've learned how to lead my students. We were told that as educators, we need to learn and mature and have a sense of responsibility. That sense of responsibility will motivate us to shoulder more tasks. At this training seminar at the Tsiji Malaysia chapter in Penang, educators find themselves in deep discussion regarding the benefits of various teaching curriculums. In fact, a lot of time is needed to collect and categorize the photos, so we felt like we needed to let the teachers know in advance what type of photos are we looking for, and we need to start collecting them when they are just four years of age. Teachers hope by giving their all to better pass on the right values to students. Meanwhile, at the Tsiji Malacca chapter, nearly 100 participants are attending a volunteer training seminar and sharing environmental ideas. Nowadays, many people just throw their garbage away. We should encourage them to sort recyclables. It is really magnificent that we can turn PET bottles into blankets and clothing. Ye Shoufen has changed her mindset towards unwanted items upon learning that they can be recycled. 
这么讲这个可以卖呢 ？Recyclables can be sold and turned into gold, and naturally, all this garbage is of great value as well. Among participants are couples, families, and even a teacher who brought her students to learn more about environmentalism. It is through such events that everyone comes to realize that they too can make a difference. City volunteers in Johor Bahru organized a New Year blessing ceremony for local residents. Inspired by City's love and compassion, several participants decided to sign up to join the volunteers' ranks and adopted bamboo coin banks to help the less fortunate. <laughs> In Malaysia's Johor Bahru, city volunteers organize a New Year's blessing ceremony and invite local residents to join in the festive celebration. Among the participants is former care recipient Li Shuqin, who is here to show her thanks to volunteers. City brothers and sisters are very nice to me. I've missed them very much. They didn't stop to care for me and my family, and they often drive me to do recycling work. To mark the festive occasion, young students put on a music performance to entertain the audience. As most of them are first timers at City's events, they say they are happy to be a part of the activity. My friend invited me to join this performance. Here, I truly experience firsthand Siji's great love. This organization makes me realize that love actually exists in this world. Through Siji's video clip, participants have gained a better understanding of Siji's charity missions around the globe. Care recipients also showed up to share their life stories with participants. Later, everybody joins in prayer, which brings them peace of mind. To respond to Ziji's charity missions, some participants signed up to become Ziji members, while others adopt bamboo coin banks, ending the day on a perfect note. To welcome the arrival of spring and promote environmentalism, 19 Ziji volunteers in China recently held a tea gathering. During the event, volunteers showcased decorations made for recyclables and put on a skit to remind participants to cherish all resources. To welcome in the spring festival, Nanjing Ziji volunteers are holding a tea gathering, and the venue is decorated with beautiful decorations made from recyclables. All the flower vases we make from recyclables. We used cocoa sprout bottles to make them. We have transformed unwanted items into useful and beautiful decorations. To spread environmental messages far and wide, volunteers not only decorate the venue with recyclables, but also put on a skit to remind participants to cherish resources. <laughs> All the costume and props of this short skit are made from recyclables to promote environmentalism. All the costumes and props were made by our volunteers. With creativity, we can turn recyclables into useful items. Knowing the importance to protect our planet, many participants promise to encourage more people to safeguard our Mother Earth. At the end of the show, we go to Johannesburg, South Africa, where over 400 residents and local volunteers gather to celebrate the Spring Festival. We will leave you with these images. Thank you for watching. See you next week.